What if I told you that one of the most dangerous men in the world was taken down in a covert operation that unfolded in just 40 minutes? A mission so secret that it wasn't made public until hours after its success. This is the story of SEAL Team 6 and the raid that changed the course of history. Welcome back to Aviation and Nautical Masters. Today we're giving you a minute-by-minute -minute breakdown of how SEAL Team 6 executed the mission to capture or kill Osama bin Laden. This covert operation, codenamed Operation Neptune Spear, was a culmination of years of intelligence and planning. On May 2, 2011, the world's most wanted terrorist was located in a compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, and it was time to act. The clock was ticking, and every second counted. The mission began under the cover of darkness with two modified Black Hawk helicopters flying low over Pakistan. Inside were the elite members of SEAL Team 6 trained for months for this moment. Their target, a high-walled compound believed to be hiding Osama bin Laden. The challenge? Infiltrating the fortified residence undetected, neutralizing potential threats, and verifying the identity of bin Laden, all in a matter of minutes. At Zerzir Shirish by Dram, the helicopters crossed the Afghan-Pakistani border and approached the compound. One Black Hawk experiences a mechanical failure and crash lands within the compound, but the team remains unscathed. Plan B is quickly put into action. At 05 Untran, um, SEALs disembark and then breach the outer walls using explosives. They enter the compound, immediately neutralizing threats in the guest house, taking out armed guards and possible bin Laden protectors. At 10 and oh no, I'm has to swine turn up. The SEALs move these swiftly through the compound. Using night vision, they clear the lower floors, ensuring no one can escape. The operation is unfolding exactly as planned, despite the earlier setback. At 15, drug, the team reaches the third floor where bin Laden is believed to be. There they encounter him in a bedroom. Within seconds, the SEALs take action, shooting him twice, once in the chest and once above the eye. Bin Laden is confirmed dead. Despite the initial helicopter crash, the SEAL's training allowed them to adapt quickly. Communication and quick decision-making kept the mission on track. The crash also posed a security risk. Would Pakistani forces be alerted? Timing was critical, and the team knew they had only minutes before the entire country might be aware of their presence. After confirming bin Laden's death, the SEALs recovered his body, as well as critical intelligence from the compound. Hard drives, documents, and computers containing years of Al-Qaeda operations. But they weren't out of danger yet. The team had to get back to their extraction point and leave Pakistan airspace before their presence was discovered. They loaded the body onto the remaining helicopter and destroyed the downed Black Hawk to prevent any technology from falling into enemy hands. In less than 40 minutes, the SEAL Team 6 operatives completed one of the most high-stakes operations in U.S. military history. Their bravery and precision ended a decade-long manhunt for the mastermind of 9-11. The mission not only dealt a major blow to Al-Qaeda, but also demonstrated the unmatched capability of U.S. Special Forces in executing complex and dangerous operations. What do you think was the most critical moment of the raid? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Aviation and Nautical Masters for more thrilling military breakdowns and stories from the front lines of naval and aerial operations.